Hey there, Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Today I'm going to go over a few tips and tricks for uh, dressing up your soda cans that you're using um, either for wall art or to make jewelry or garden decorations, whatever it may be. Um, first I just want to say that I'm not an expert. I uh, don't do a lot of it, but um, I'm going to share some of the tips that, that I've learned about embossing and using inks on soda cans. So there are um, some tools that you can purchase and as we go through the tutorial I'll show you things that you can purchase that I use that make it easier. But I have a setup here in front of me that will allow you to do this with only having to purchase, assuming you have the rest of this in your house, um, inks. So um, let me get started with our list of supplies. First, this ink is horribly messy and it stains terrible so you will want to uh, make sure that you have something to protect your table. You may even want to wear gloves. But you'll want to buy alcohol inks. These are Adirondack, uh, but they stick very well to the aluminum. Um, you can use um, cotton balls, a Q-tip, um, for moving the uh, ink around. It dries pretty quickly, so you don't have a lot of time to do any kind of um, painting, artistic painting, um, but it's just to help do some mixing and blending if, if you would like to do that. Of course, you'll need some aluminum. A paintbrush with a nice smooth end. Uh, plastic ones usually have a rough knob that um, can scratch things up, so look for a smooth wooden handle. A piece of felt, and that's it. And again, like I said, I'll go over some things that you can uh, additionally purchase. So first we'll go over embossing, so I'm going to move this to the side. Just take out your felt, open it up one um, to one sheet thick, and um, take your soda can and you can do this either from the top or the bottom. Um, it just will make your impression either um, pop from the top of your soda can or it'll make an impression. Um, I'm going to do this really quickly. Again, I don't do this freehand. I'm not very good at it. Um, I use, like I said, I use the Big Shot Sizex um, die cut machine and it also bosses. So I'm just going to make a couple of swirly patterns on here and I'll show you from the top and the bottom, what they look like. I'm going to make a couple because we're going to do some painting and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So you just, you really have to apply some good pressure. You can turn it over. You can see it pops up a bit. And as you start to do more and more of this, you'll see that your, your aluminum is starting to flatten. It's not keeping the same shape that it had before. So you can go to your computer and you can, um, you know, find some clip art that that you like or um, any kind of embossing pattern, and you can lay it down here if you'd like. Um, just lay it on top of your um, sheet of aluminum and just literally trace the lines on your paper, um, and that should work just fine. So if you want to have, again, sort of a freehand look but not necessarily freehand, that'll help. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and color. When I do the coloring, I do the inside of the can. Um, it's sort of silly to do the outside when there's already color on it, so we're going to go ahead with that same assumption that you're going to do that. Oh, you know, let me point out that if you're going to do embossing, here's an extra tool. So here's a foam pad that you can purchase and um, this fun little embossing pen. And it has all kinds of different tips that come with it so that you can just roll it along your aluminum and make different patterns and such. You know, if you're if you're good at freehand, no need to have it. But if you want to get more uh, fun and you're not so good at freehand, it's it's a good tool to have. So I'm gonna just set this to the side. I'm not gonna use that today. We're gonna go ahead and do some painting. So just slide over your mat. Okay, and here there's also a tool that you can use. It's so silly. It's a um, looks like a rubber hand stamp, and then there's these cotton squares. So you can pay a lot of money for this. Don't. Um, and just it sticks on these little metal pins. Seriously, a cotton ball works much better. So um, just know that it's there, but I seriously wouldn't waste your money on it. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out some of these inks, and I'll just show you a couple of the things that I do with it. So if you want to have some like sort of wild, fun, tie-dye kind of looks. Um, you can put the ink on your aluminum. And if you spread it a bit, 
it'll um, dry quicker. But look, you can see the embossing starting to come out really nice. And then once it's dry-ish, it doesn't have to be completely dry, but no big pools, you can take another color and you can watch it start to bleed into um, the pink color, but it will also um, color the aluminum next to it. So you'll get this really cool tie-dye effect. You can do another color if you want next to it. And if you want to um, blend in some of those edges so that it's not so um, such a harsh edge, you can use your Q-tip just to do some sort of coloring around the edges. So it's a nice bleed into the one color to the next. <clears throat> so that's pretty much the extent of my coloring. Um, either that or I will take an entire sheet and I will color it just one color and then I let the embossing do the beauty of the be the beauty of the piece. Let's do this. So you can literally just really smear it out. And you just have this beautiful color um, aluminum. I do want to show you one more thing that I just got and I cannot wait to use it. If you do use this, however, you do need to have this foam pad. Um, it really is just foam. You can probably just get a sheet of like craft foam will probably work. But I want to show you how this works. It's this little tool. Um, I was in the scrapbooking section and I have to tell you that if you're going to work with tin cans, the scrapbooking section is your friend. That's where I buy most of my punches, this cool thing, um, lots of other little things that they use to make embellishments works with the aluminum. Again, not everything works, so you know, you buy a punch, you might want to um, be really careful how you open it because you might need to return it. It may not work for what you need. So this here, if you run it along your aluminum, makes these really cool holes. I am so excited to do this as a sort of a um, embroidery flossing, um, making some sort of a wall decor and using a needle and embroidery floss um, to finish off the edges. So that's just something I wanted to show you that's really cool. They have uh, different patterns of these. This one just makes a straight line, but um, they have several different patterns that will do um, different things in your aluminum. So that's, um, that's all I have to offer on embossing and coloring your aluminum. If you have any questions, post them below, or if you have any other experiences, post below. Have fun.